If you have one of the Samsung television sets with the remote control with the voice commands, then you probably are used to services like Bixby. What's the weather like today? Today, it is mostly clear with a high of 62 degrees and a low of 47 degrees. Or the Amazon Alexa system. Play hottest hits on Amazon Music. Here's a popular station, today's hits on Amazon Music. But did you know Samsung updated their operating system, which now has Google Assistant. So you can take this voice activated remote control, press this button, and now give it voice commands for your Google Assistant. Now the great thing about this, if you already have Google Homes and you want to give it some commands, you can now do it quietly because you don't have to use the OK command. You just press the button and give it the command directly. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to set it up. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is get into the settings. Open up settings. Now once you get to the settings, you want to go down to general and then you want to click on voice. Now here you have voice assistance and now you have Google assistance that's part of that system. Previously it was just Bixby and Amazon Alexa. Once you get here, go ahead and press on Google assistance. Then you press okay to choose Google assistance as being your main voice assistance program. And when you get the pop-up screen like this, just agree through the terms and condition and then press understand at the bottom. But make sure you read through everything just to make sure you feel comfortable with what you're agreeing upon. Next, you want to press allow. Then pull up your smartphone and follow the instructions. So all you need to do now is go to the website from the TV screen and press OK. Once you get here, go ahead and press on get started. And then press open. Now, if you don't have it already, you need to download the Google Assistance application. Next, you want to choose a Gmail account that you want to set up your TV on, and I'll choose my demo account. So once you read through this screen, go ahead and press continue. And then you want to find your device on a local network, which I have both of them connected to the exact same Wi-Fi. You can see that I found the Q60 television set. Go ahead and press next. There's a code at the bottom of the screen we need to use on the application. And then go ahead and press yes on the phone. Now read through all the different sources, then press allow. Now you can see on the TV set that it's signed in and is ready to go. Now you need to label what the TV set's gonna be. Let's go ahead and say bedroom. Press next. If you want local searches, go ahead and enter your street address. Now if you want it to connect to your Gmail account to give you personal information, you can allow, but that's up to you. And then here's a list of some questions that you can ask it. Press done when you finish. With everything set up and ready to go, let's do some voice commands. How tall is Shaquille O'Neal? Shaquille O'Neal is seven feet one inch tall. How much is a flight from San Diego to New York City? Flights from San Diego to New York leaving the 21st of January and coming back the 28th of January start at $208. Wow, that's a great deal. I wish I had a reason to go to New York, but I don't. Open up App Store. Open up Netflix application. Now you can ask it questions, it can open up applications, but the great thing about it, if you have the Google Home application and you have a Google Home setup, this can also control lighting systems, thermostats, and things like that. So if you have a Google setup and you wanna incorporate this television into that, then you can with this remote control. I'm Tech Steve, and if you have questions, leave them below. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.